Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a brand new Wildwood FSX 167 RBK travel trailer behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you like all things RV, instructional videos, product videos, and things like that, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when we put up new videos like this. We do all kinds of stuff, we go live sometimes too, so make sure you check out the rest of our YouTube channel, you guys, you can follow us on Facebook as well, you can keep up with the latest news and videos here at Byerly RV. So, let's take a look at the FSX 167 RBKX travel trailer. So, first of all, you'll see right off the bat, it does say Platinum Edition up on top right there. So, the 167 is available in this fiberglass skin that you see here, and it's also available with corrugated aluminum siding. So this is kind of cool, you can get it either way. Obviously the one right here is the Platinum Edition and they label it Platinum when it has the fiberglass on the side. Otherwise the campers are basically the same. Um, we'll start kind of right up front right here. We have a space for our battery. We have a single propane bottle right here. Um, one thing I can see up underneath here is a little battery disconnect switch, okay everybody? So you know, that's a little thing, but what you're gonna see here is, and if you watch any of, any of my other videos, you'll know that I talk about the sum of many little things. And on a product like a Wildwood, okay, I've been here at Byerly for a long time. We've always had Wildwoods. It's a product that's been built in the same building by the same people for many, many years. It's a product that will come to us and we'll find less little things wrong with it and you'll have less little things go wrong with it over the course of its life. And the other thing is, these guys have many, many years of customer feedback and suggestions and things like that to, to incorporate. And so that battery disconnects one of those things, you know, because we have to disconnect the battery on the travel trailer when it's gonna sit unplugged. Otherwise it will be dead the next time we come back. So instead of having to take the lid off and the strap off and get a tool and disconnect the battery, I just have a little switch. It's something that people add all the time as an extra. Here you see it on the Wildwood FSX coming straight from the factory. Also another kind of cool thing that you'll see up here on the tongue is actually a little spot to store my chains and my plug. It's just this little plastic piece right here, but you'll see I've got my chains hung on this and my plug, instead of just kind of hitting the ground or anything, it just sits right there and is protected. Again, it's a little thing. I bet that's like a $15, $20 piece of plastic right there, but that thing's awesome and it's something that we needed, you know? You'll see right here, it says prep for solar, wired for solar, so we do have pre-wiring in the walls and things like that. There's a cable, or a, excuse me, a plug right here to plug in. Uh, it is made for go power, however, just understand that there are um, uh, adapters and stuff like that as well. Now, check out the storage compartment. You guys, one thing that a storage compartment, it doesn't matter necessarily how big the inside of the compartment is, and this one is big, you guys, but it also matters how big the door is, right? So this door is nice and big, so I can take one of my nice Byerly Director's chairs here, and I can just fold it up, and it's big enough that I can easily slide it in here. I can put tables in here and stuff like that, you guys. Um, it, and it's passed through, of course, with the same size door actually on the other side. Now, right underneath this door, you're gonna see the stabilizer jacks. This is a single axle, relatively small travel trailer, and it has four scissor jacks on it. A scissor jack is considered to be a little better than just a little single arm jack, okay? And a lot of times on small trailers, you'll find two on the back, and then you've got your tongue jack up front for three points of contact for stabilization. Now this has four jacks, okay, instead of two. When you're shopping for campers, in this price range and size range. Those are the type of things that are gonna make a difference, okay? Other things that make a difference is like, for example, there's actually a double step instead of a single step. What it does is that first step isn't nearly as much, you know? Um, I notice here I've got a little bit larger entry handle, you know, instead of just a little one, it's a little bit bigger. We don't need a huge one, it's not that big of a trailer, right? Um, this is kind of nice here. I've got an extra refrigerator outside. Now guys, we've got a full size, you know, fridge on the inside here, but uh, on the outside, we've got this extra little, I like to call it the condiment and beverage fridge, you know? Uh, but this way when I'm outside and I'm doing my cooking and stuff like that, I don't have to run in every time maybe I want something, I can put it out here. Um, and it's just a little dorm fridge, so you gotta be plugged in for that to work, uh, but very, very convenient. Now one thing that I love about this is that the awning goes from here all the way over my entry door. 
So, I mean, I, I can see myself, I'm camped out. This awning is out and my entire area right here is gonna be covered. It's lit, of course. It's a power awning, of course. So, you know, this is something that guys, again, price point, size point, you start to compare all the things that are on the Wildwood FSX to its competitors. And I think you're gonna find that there's just more stuff. Let's go inside and check out what all is in there too. So inside the 167 RBKX, first of all, there's a really nice open entryway right here, which is great. And I walk in and there's my monitor panel. It's nice and high up, so it doesn't actually get hit or pushed by anybody or anything we don't want to. I've got my monitor panel to tell me how full my tanks are. I've got water pump switch, water heater switch, lights, awning controls right here. Right below that, you guys, this is cool. This is my entertainment center, okay? Why is it my entertainment center? Well, this is a Bluetooth speaker, actually. I can take it inside, outside, connect my phone to it and stuff. Very, very cool. And it's got its own little charging dock right there. How neat is that? Um, now, Nice dinette, it's a good sized dinette. Dinettes are, booth dinettes like this are great because we have storage underneath and then this will make into extra sleeping, right? Um, above that, big storage cabinets here. And one of my favorite parts is this humongous window that is looking out into our campsite, okay? So this is where my picnic table is gonna be, my awnings over this, but just a wonderful big window. As you can see, it's letting in a lot of natural light. Um, combine that with the lighter colors in here and it just really, you don't even hardly need the lights on a lot of times, it's great. Um, this is, uh, this got the nice pull down shades as well. This is one of my favorite parts. So into the when we work our way to the bathroom here, we've got a really nice a pocket door here that slides, okay? So I don't have to have a swinging door of any kind. I don't have to leave room for that. It's a little more expensive to do it this way, but it is definitely a better way to do it, especially in something this small where we're really trying to conserve space. Now, the bathroom, as you can see, it's all the way across the back of the camper, which makes it really big. Nice storage back here, you guys. So, you know, tons of storage back here for more clothing, things like towels or whatever. I've got a nice foot flush commode, a little bit of extra counter space. Any extra counter space is valuable. Um, they even built like this medicine cabinet right here. So this is, you know, made out of the same cabinetry that's in the rest of the camper. It's not like plastic just put on the wall here. And then you'll also see a really, a, a big shower with tub surround, which is this plastic on the walls here that goes all the way up to the top, okay? When you look at other things in the size and price range of this FSX Wildwood, you're gonna see things that don't have this. And this is very important because it's protecting the wallpaper and stuff from, from water, obviously, right? Um, now, back into the main living area slash kitchen, um, we have a really great ever chill fridge. I mentioned outside, we have a full size fridge. Uh, this is a 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, you guys. So what does that mean? Well, we always had, you know, RV refrigerators work on electric or propane and, you know, they take a while to get cold. They need to be level to work properly. Um, and they're, they tend to be a little smaller. There's a lot of mechanism behind them. So we started seeing residential refrigerators, especially in some of our bigger things because a residential refrigerator can hold a lot more food. However, it only works on electricity, right? So we'd had to have inverters and things like that going down the road to run it. Well, enter the 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So it's 12 volts, so run off a battery, which can be maintained by your car, which charges when you're plugged in and regular electricity is converted to 12 volt to run this it's compressor driven, which means it doesn't need to be leveled to work properly. And it is, it will get cold much faster as well. And we also have a very large, I think this is like 10.6 cubic feet, and it fits in about the same size spot as a regular eight cubic foot RV fridge because it doesn't need all the evaporation and stuff on the back. Now, um, a decent amount of counter space. I really, really like what they did here, you guys, but they went with this two burner stove here, okay? And the two burner stove leaves me a little bit more counter space for my prep and stuff. Uh, I've got nice seamless counters, undermount sink. We've got removable, um, you know, sink covers here, storage above. We've got our microwave hood, um, storage below. Uh, this right here, guys, this is the furnace. The furnace controls are right here on the wall. And then my air conditioner controls are right here. We're only in one room, so it's just blown out. I can control these vents if I want. Um, and then as we kind of move over into what we'll kind of call the living area here, on the wall, we have, a, it says TV backer right here, so I know where to put my TV mount. And then I've got my TV connections up here for the antenna that's on the roof, if I want to run satellite from outside maybe or whatever. But I've also got my pre-wiring for the King Connect system, which is a Wi-Fi boosting system and things like that. You guys, we did we do this thing called Byerly RV University, um, and our, Jan, or excuse me, our December 20. 21 class that we just did was on 
Wi-Fi and satellite stuff. So you can get some more information on that. And of course, uh, check out the website and things. I haven't mentioned that yet, but www.buyerlyrv.com. Um, you can see things like current stocking level. Is there one of these available? Do I have it in aluminum? Do I have it in fiberglass? And also a lot of stuff like what kind of things are available. Uh, King has a bunch of different things that you can add different levels of, of whatever your, depends on your needs, I guess, you know. Um, now, okay, so I've got my, what I call my living room, right? I've got nice storage, hanging storage on either side. I've got good size end tables, uh, which is gonna come in handy because this is a Murphy bed, right? So this is gonna convert down. It's really, really easy, okay? So I'm just gonna take my couch cushions, put them like that. I'm going to just dis unhook this little guy right here. And voila! There we go, guys. Here's our, it's a queen bed. I mean, this is great. It's actually technically kind of a walk around bed. This is one of the coolest things about these Murphy beds and these things, you know, uh, when it's folded up, there was a lot of space right here, you guys. I could see bringing TV trays maybe or something. I could have an extra, I could almost put a little folding desk right here that I could fold up if I wanted to. But then I still had the benefit of having a big bed, right? That is, can be entered from either side and nobody's actually crawling over each other. Very, very cool, you guys. The brand new Wildwood FSX 167 RBKX travel trailer here at Byerly RV. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll know when we put up more. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.